Did you know that Fresno State had an amphitheater? It is located right in the middle of campus between the Music and Speech Arts Building, and students like Derek Brown never noticed it. I didn't know Fresno State had an amphitheater. I mean, I walked past here two to three times a week, and I never knew what it was. The amphitheater was built back in the 70s and can hold up to 7,000 people, but it hasn't been used for much in recent years. Um, for a while, it was condemned, which meant it was unstable or something like that. And um, then just like this past year, they made an announcement saying it wasn't condemned and it was available to use. Um, but I just think it had been so long since uh, people had used it that they didn't really realize that it was here. The amphitheater hasn't gone completely unnoticed. Music students still use the space to their advantage. I know that the marching band uses it for uh, warm-ups before games. They used it for their orientation and the Bulldog Beat used it for playing a concert. Using the space seems like a good idea, but teachers like John Carr believes it could disturb classes in the evening. We teach classes in, in the evening out there, and there is no real soundproofing there. So if you've got a, a loud concert going on and we're trying to teach a class, we might as well just cancel the class. Uh, it's just worthless. Heidi Butterfield says small bands and musicians should consider using it since the weather will be warming up soon. It seems like it would be like a really good venue for like summer concerts or something instead of like as a good... Um, alternative to like the Save Mart Center. Hopefully we get to see the amphitheater being used in the near future. LaVon Marshall, Fresno State Focus.